Hello, I'm Tony Botting at Go Engineer. I'm a simulation specialist. In this video, we'll show how you can graph flow variables. This image shows a graph of the pressure distribution on the face of this step. The horizontal axis on the graph corresponds to the base of the step and proceeds upward. This analysis was set up as a 2D flow simulation. In the flow domain, there's a flow going from left to right into this channel and out the expansion area. The graphing function is very flexible. It uses SOLIDWORKS sketch lines to graph the value of the variable along the line. And you don't have to draw the lines before the analysis. You can draw them after the solution is complete. This is handy because sometimes you may see flow field behavior that was not anticipated. For example, we don't know exactly where along the floor the flow changes direction from going to the right to reversing and going back toward the step. I can investigate the horizontal or x component of velocity just above the boundary layer, but along the floor using a graph of that flow variable. It obviously switches direction at some point, which would manifest as a sign change in the velocity as shown on the graph. I'll open a sketch on the front longitudinal plane and draw a line. I'll add a relation to make the line collinear with the floor. I'll switch to the Flow Simulation tab and right-click on the XY Plots icon to choose Insert. At this point, you can see that Sketch 20 is already input as the graphing line. You can plot by the normalized length of the sketch line or use the actual model dimensions, which I'll do. I'll choose the flow variable as the velocity in the X direction along the floor. Click on the Show button and you'll see the graph. You can observe that the x-direction velocity switches signs. That's where the flow reverses. You can zoom in to find the location of the velocity sign change. When you close out the dialogs, you can see Flow Simulation saved the graphing instance as an icon which you can re-invoke later. You can also export the data to Microsoft Excel. In this video, we showed a utility to graph flow variables using SOLIDWORKS sketch lines.